to this is a real story and welcome to another training video okay first of all very big thank you for your all subscribers support and watch my videos and today we have this a nice video with auto backwash filter okay first of all auto backwash filter was made for cleaning the sediments and residues inside the seal which was already purified but sometimes the seal oil is not purified correct by purifier so the last uh, the last stand and a wall also before entrance of the seal to main engine is this filter okay first of all remember that these filters have specified size of mesh okay mesh is the size of wire okay the wire cage which collects these residues and remember also this mesh can be dirty these filters uh, they have some program okay which is making blow down and change the filter every one or two hours it depends on your settings if you believe that you're sure and from your analyze chemical analyze uh, shows you that the seal is dirty it's better to make more often and remember do not mix blue boil filters with seal filters be careful these filters need to be very careful because there is a hot place the seal is 130 degrees celsius and if some seal click on you maybe you burn your eyes your skin so you need to put big gloves until here much better to not have any touch with seal and better use goggles boiler switch also uh, you need to lower down so if something spill on you this will be absorbed okay remember that if seal will touch you with 130 degrees this is chemical burn and we need uh, quickly medical assistance very important also for your hands the seal can make uh, a lot of damage see from here as you can see this point here here and here here this is the cover where the cover touches and here inside this area more inside is one rubber this rubber is special made rubber heat resistant rubber okay and then this is a, another cover black one which is known as seal and this is metal cover which have lock nut here which also you remove and then the filter is based inside uh, some small places okay let's go and remove that okay this is without the cover and now you can withdraw them and clean them and replace with new also here in this point which here around there is also rubber down and up for the most of the filter some other systems they have little bit different design but the same procedure of cleaning uh, on most of the filters okay as you can see here there's also coming fumes from the hot seal and first how to remove the filters okay how to open the cover first of all you need to blow one or two times manually the filters okay so if any seal uh, is trapped inside will be empty but before doing that you need to switch off your auto backwash filter to manual filter okay you need to isolate your filter first isolate inlet and outlet you set in the manual filter there is another filter okay and this one will be bypassed bypass and then you can blow one two times or three it's better 
everything will be drained from there or there is sometimes some drains that you can open and remain few will be gone and then you carefully open the vent little easy easy and if there is some pressure you will see from the vent okay next uh, you switch off the system the auto backwash completely you power off okay and then next you remove the pipes the air pipes you close the air from there only for this unit okay and easy easy you remove the nuts from the cover if you are sure that the, the vessel is not under pressure okay if for some reason the installation cannot be obtained it's better to not continue because it's dangerous for any damage and blackout okay you must be sure that your manual filter is working properly here we have the filters removed the oiler screen here inside little bit with rust and this surface also so when the new filter will be attached and the cover closed there is properly touch of surface this is the clean filter okay this is the new clean filter how to clean these filters? These filters is better to put inside an ultrasonic device uh, with chemical which will clean them in most in 6 to 8 hours that's the reason but you can set them in evening and morning time it's ready okay this is how they place inside okay this place down in the guy place Okay, this is locked now and then you set the cover and all information that you set up before okay remember it's the reversed uh, the reverse that you do before dismantling okay the mounting procedure and then when you close the cover okay you slowly open the inlet of the fuel and slightly open the vent so the fuel will fill okay the empty space and the air will be come from up okay the liquid will fill easy easy this space of air and the air will be removed and then when you will see that drops coming or little fuel coming from the vent you close the vent completely and then you can proceed to the next step that you pull open the inlet and outlet for this uh, filter okay normally for this switch uh, off from one filter to another from auto backwash filter to manual there is one three-way valve okay what else we can tell about this very important okay uh, you need to remember that these auto backwash filters they have also a counter this counter shows and also in most of the ships write this counter to see how the filter is going okay but mostly these filters they blow uh, 12 times to 14 times normally it's like 24 hours okay if you will see uh, 24 times or 30 times or 40 this is the indication that the fuel is very bad and your filter uh, condition also is bad and you need to replace them as quick as possible okay also what you can do if it's night time okay and it's about 11 o'clock and you don't like to check out these filters at that point of the time because night it's difficult better lower the set point of fuel uh, low pressure of alarm okay so if your set point is 7.5 the low alarm better put it uh, about no if your alarm is uh, mean I mean 7 put it 7.5 a little up so if some drop of pressure will be okay 
we, we talk about for management, okay? And if something will happen, you will have time to react, okay? But for me, it's better to not adjust alarms or diesel generators because they are most important because they will lead to the complete loss of power if this will happen, okay? Thank you for watching. Many thanks for you. Uh, still coming a lot of videos. Bye-bye.